Hey, what's up everybody? How are you doing today? If you're new here, my name is Tobias and today I'm reviewing the Elegir Faux Fur Sherpa Throw Blanket. So this is not real fur. It should be 50 inches by 60 inches. And I'm going to kind of just treat this like any other one of my reviews. I'll start off talking a little bit about it. We'll put this blanket to the test. And then in the end, I'll tell you guys what I think about it. So first off, this is a brand that I am familiar with. About maybe one or two years ago, I reviewed their cooling blanket. So this blanket right here should do the opposite and it should actually make you warmer than your traditional throw blanket. This is the box that it comes in. So we're gonna do an unboxing. I have not opened it yet. It comes in four different colors. It comes in blue, brown, dark gray, and pink. Um, I should have the dark gray one inside this box. And if we take a look at the Amazon page, it goes for $26.99. But right now, I noticed that there is like a little button that you could click on and it should get you 20% off. So just to see what the total price came out to, I went ahead and added it to my cart, added that 20% off and including tax and free shipping, my total came out to $23.64. And I'll go ahead and have the Amazon link down in the description below in case you do wanna check that out for yourself. And let's go ahead and open it up. All right, here we go guys, let's open it up. Okay, it looks like it comes wrapped in plastic. All right. Um, so I was reading the box. It should be 100% polyester. And it looks like they kind of use like three layers of material to kind of make this a heating blanket. By the way, guys, this is not an electric blanket. Um, it should just like have these different materials that make it warmer than a regular blanket. And um, yeah, they call it Japanese heat warm plus two degrees Celsius technology. So here we go. So first impressions, guys, it is super soft, very soft. It feels really nice. And the inside is a bit fluffier. It feels very nice as well. So as far as those three materials go, um, I, I can't really tell. I'm able to, I'm definitely able to separate the top layer from the bottom layer. And when I pull them apart, I can't really feel if there's something else in there. Like it, I don't know, it's really hard to tell. Yeah, let's go ahead and fold it out. And just to give you guys some quick perspective, I went ahead and laid the blanket out on top of my bed. This is a queen sized bed, so you can kind of see it covers the majority of the top of the bed and it falls maybe about, maybe I'm estimating maybe 20 feet short of the, to the edge and it comes almost to the edges around the sides. So yeah, just to give you guys an idea. So next what I want to do is put this blanket to the test. So what I did is over here, I have a regular throw blanket. It's not an Elegir blanket. It's just like a, by another brand, but it shouldn't have that Japanese heat warm technology or whatever they call it. So I'm going to go ahead and compare how warm this blanket gets compared to this one. And over here, I have this aquarium uh, thermometer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the blankets over me. I'll do one at a time. I'll leave the blanket for about 10 minutes with the thermometer underneath the blanket as well. And we'll see if the Elegir blanket gets warmer than the regular blanket. So I'll do this test with both blankets and we'll see which one gets warmer. All right guys, so I'm gonna put the blanket on. This is the regular um, throw blanket. I'll just put it on me like this and I'll put the, so right now the thermometer is at uh, just under 60 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna put it right in here and I'm gonna set my timer for, uh, I guess, 10 minutes. I'll fast forward to the end so you don't have to watch this whole thing. All right, guys, so it's been 10 minutes. We are at, oh, wow, we're actually at like 75 degrees. All right, guys, so in 10 minutes, we reached 75 degrees with the regular throw blanket. Now let's test out the Elegir heating blanket. I'm gonna give myself a couple minutes of cool down time just to make sure that, um, you know, that it's a fair comparison. Okay guys, so I've cooled down. Um, the thermometer is back to around 68-ish degrees, just like how it was earlier. Let's test out the heating blanket. We are at, uh, we're just over 75. So it actually did get 
it's already starting to drop, but we were like 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Unfortunately, you know, when I take it out, oh, there, finally, I could get a good view of it. It's, it's like hard to get a good view. But um, yeah, immediately as I took it out, the temperature starts dropping. But when I read it initially, I want to say it was closer to around 78 degrees, while the um, regular throw blanket, the temperature was more around 75 degrees. All right, guys. So to be completely honest, I was actually a little bit skeptical of whether the Elegear warming blanket was actually going to make a difference. When I was feeling it, it just feels like a regular throw blanket. It doesn't feel like it's anything special. And actually, it, it also feels a little bit more lightweight than the regular throw blanket that I have. So I was actually pretty surprised to see that we actually got uh, roughly three degrees warmer with the Elegear warming blanket than we did with the regular throw blanket. And that's in a span of 10 minutes. That was kind of like the best idea that I could come up with to test if this blanket actually does get warmer than a regular blanket. So anyways, I would love to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments below. Once again, I will have the link to this Elegear warming blanket down in the description below in case you want to check that out for yourself. And if you did like this video or if this video helped you out, make sure to go down there and give this video a like. That would help me out so much. If you would like to see more videos, videos by me in the future make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button hit that bell notifications button if you haven't seen it yet guys i am doing a microphone giveaway on my channel make sure to go to my channel and check out my most recent microphone video it'll tell you guys how to enter if you would like to follow me on instagram i'll go ahead and put my handle right here it's at yt underscore tobias and i will talk to you guys in my next video peace